Well, hello class. Can you believe Thanksgiving is next week? And after the Thanksgiving week, we've got three weeks of class left. So the end is in sight. We're almost there. You guys have been grinding, working hard. And once you get that persuasive speech submitted, the heavy lifting is over. You only have two more assignments after that. One will be a short one to two minute farewell speech where you bid goodbye to your classmates. And then also you're going to have a final assessment that's a written assignment that you'll do at the end of the semester. Essentially, you're just answering six questions. And one of those questions will be, what do you think your final grade should be for the semester? And one of the ways I want you to determine that is to go back and watch your initial video discussion that you turned in after the first week of class and in that video discussion i asked you to establish your three goals for this class this semester so essentially you want to go back watch that video and to determine your grade you're going to assess how well you think you met your overall goals for the class of course we'll look at completion of assignments and also, we'll take a look at your overall effort. To me, that's real important, especially when it comes to this class. So two assignments. After you submit your presentation for the persuasive speech, the farewell speech, and then the final assessment, and we are done. All right. Today, I just want to give you a couple delivery tips for the presentation of your persuasive speech. And I really want you to think of that persuasive speech presentation it's kind of like your final, right? We don't have a final exam in this class, but this is your last big speech. So essentially what I want you to do in this persuasive presentation is to demonstrate that you've learned everything that you need to know in order to be an effective public speaker. So essentially in that final presentation, demonstrate to me what you've learned in the class by the quality of the content of the speech the overall structure, and especially with the delivery of your presentation of the persuasive speech. And a couple things when it comes to the overall delivery, there's a reason why there's a week between when you have to submit the outline and then when you have to submit the presentation. Because if you really want to be an effective public speaker, you just have to put in the work and practice. So what I'm expecting is that once your outline is submitted now, you should be in the process of practicing your speech. This is going to really help you with your overall eye contact because the more familiar you are with your information, the easier it is to maintain that eye contact with the audience by looking into that camera lens. And it also cuts down on the number of times that you have to glance at your notes to get the next line. If you really do this effectively and kind of the RX for really having a speech down is Always have your outline of the speech prepared one week in advance of the due date. And then in the week leading up to that presentation, you're going to take your speech from the outline and just read it out loud three times a day, every day in the seven days leading up to your final presentation. If you do that, rather than trying to memorize your speech, you will just overlearn the information do that constant repetition. Repetition is the key to retention. And so you want to make sure you put in the work and the practice so that when you present your speech, you've got everything dialed in. Look, if I didn't have that week between the deadline for the outline and the delivery, what would happen is you, most of you turn in your outline the night before and then you do your speech the next day, right? And so a lot of times I'm getting a cold reading of the speech. That's not effective public speaking. I've even mentioned this to some of you. This is the introduction to public speaking, not the introduction to public reading. So learn your information, have it down well enough so you can at least look at the camera lens, i.e. the audience, more than you're looking at your notes as you go through the presentation. And then two things I really want you to work on. Two of the biggest things that I'm looking at with that final delivery, maintaining eye contact and using your voice effectively, 
using what I call vocal variety, where you're continually changing your rate and volume. You're mixing up where you put your pauses and phrases and sentences. That's the best way to maintain the attention of an audience, to look at them and never let them get comfortable with your vocal style, right? The opposite of vocal variety is a monotone. And what the monotone does, it, it creates a redundant rhythmic pattern. This is what I call also kind of the red sound. I can usually tell when you're reading a speech because you'll lose out on your vocal variety. You get kind of a repetitive vocal pattern. And so we want to break away from that because the monotone lulls the audience to sleep, right? Redundant rhythmic patterns. That's why we read nursery rhymes to kids. We want them to go to sleep. So to break out of that, you've got to make sure that you're keeping your audience off balance by continually mixing up your rate and your volume. You do that, it keeps the audience into the speech. And those are the two things that I want to see. And when you're practicing your speech three times a day, every day, each time, work on a specific delivery skill. One time I might just practice my eye contact. Another time I'm really going to work on my vocal variety or how I'm going to say each line to make each line as effective as possible in terms of the audience relating to that information. So you want to make sure you've got your eye contact, your vocal variety set for that final presentation. And then last thing, I want you to work on the beginning of the speech and the ending of the speech. What's happening, a lot of you are rushing both the introduction and the conclusion, and so that's lessening the overall impact you're going to have on your audience. And so what happens with some of you, and two, it's hard. This is a whole new public speaking medium that we're learning doing everything online, but with a lot of you, it's like you hit record, now as you're coming back, right after you've hit record, you're going into the opening line. And what's happening, because it takes a couple seconds for the recording to actually start, it's cutting off the first couple lines. So what I really want you to focus on is to make sure you get your speech off to a, to a dynamic start. And the way that you do that is you want to have just a second or two where you establish your presence as a speaker before you open your mouth and begin talking to the audience. So you want to hit record, then move back, take a second to just look into that camera lens, establish your connection with the audience, and then go into the speech. Let's try it. In fact, I'm going to dust off my intro from my persuasive speech way back in 1983. A little over five years ago, the mass suicide of almost a thousand members of an American religious cult in a remote corner in Guyana shocked United, and now I'm into the speech, into the attention getter. So don't rush into the speech. Take a second, establish eye contact with your audience, then go into the presentation. And then when you end, you want to make sure that the audience knows that that's the last line in the speech. Because if you were doing it in the classroom, you're doing this in front of an actual live audience, they need to know when the speech is over. And so with many of you, you're delivering that last line, it's a little too fast and it doesn't sound like a last line. So it doesn't create a sense of finality. The audience hears the line, they're not sure if the speech is over, then you kind of have this long pause so the audience is not, wait, should I be clapping? So you want to create a last line so there's no doubt that that last line is the end of the speech and you want to do it in a way that has an impact on the audience and also establishes a strong sense of finality at the end of the speech. Now that same speech that I used where I gave you the attention getter, the last line of that speech is, and even the Messiah must pay his taxes. But if I just delivered the line like that, so I get to my last line, and even the Messiah must pay his taxes, doesn't quite sound like that's the last line in the speech. Kind of sounds like there's another line to come, and so it creates confusion, and you really have no sense 
of impact or finality at the end of the speech. So you always want to have a pause to set up the last line, slow your rate down, throw a couple pauses in the middle and towards the end of the phrase, and then lower your vocal tone as you were to the end of the sentence. So if I was using that same last line and I want to create a sense of finality, it would be something like, and even the Messiah must pay his taxes. See the difference? So I kind of drop my vocal tone, put a couple pauses in there, and pauses are cool, especially at the end. Once you get experience, you can kind of play a fun game between you and the audience where you're kind of seeing how long can I hold that pause before they start to get restless. And you start really seeing how much control that you have over the audience and their attention span. But a great way to maintain that is to always use pauses, especially make it a little more dramatic at the end of the speech to create that sense of fidelity. All right? So I want to see your best presentations with your presentation of the persuasive speech. Make it your best speech. I'm real big on improvement too. So maybe if you kind of struggled in the early speeches, but then you nail your last speech. Hey, Pop, look at me. What do you think now? I've mastered what it takes to be an effective public speaker. Cool. I like seeing that. I like that improvement. That means you've been working hard. So best deliveries, that's what I want to see on the presentation of the persuasive speech. All right, you guys, take care. Tune in next week. I'll have a couple things for you right before we break for Thanksgiving. All right, be well. Take care. Adios.